And yet if we look at Britain today, two-thirds of Britain's bug species... Tony Blair time, backing a campaign to get Britain buzzing. The launch at the Royal Society in central London saw influential decision-makers and national treasures throw their weight behind a project that aims to highlight the plight of key UK pollinators. The first thing we need to change is attitudes. Governments can do what they want, they can pass laws, they can even push a little bit of money hither and yon. This won't make a difference until people say, hang on a minute, we're losing more than we're gaining here. I think it was Einstein who said if bees were to become extinct, that eventually the human race would become extinct. And he calculated that that would only take about five years. But it's not just bees. Two thirds of UK pollinators are in decline. These include hoverflies, moths and butterflies, all of which are critical to food production. Bug Life, the charity behind the campaign, says now is the time to reverse the downward trend. There are all kinds of reasons why it's important. It, it's not just that we might begin to have difficulty producing our food crops. It's also that we will simply lose biodiversity. We will lose what makes our planet so special. Biodiversity Minister Richard Bennion was there, but there's a belief that others, rather than government, will drive the change. People can do things. We don't need to rely on governments, on rules. Uh, the government won't do things quick enough. Governments never do. Governments tend to follow people, citizens. The biggest problem is the loss of habitat. Since the war, we've lost 97% of our wildflower meadows. So how can we improve the lot of pollinators? Well, the general public have a key role influencing their politicians, both locally and nationally, encouraging them to take action that's good for wildlife and good for pollinators, putting the wildflowers back. But they can also do stuff in their own back garden. They can manage areas for wildflowers. They can leave bits of rough grass in so that there's nesting areas for pollinators, even put in bee banks or put in bee hotels in their garden so there's places for bees to nest as well. Local government have a lot to do as well. They manage lots of open spaces, they could stop cutting those so frequently so that there's more space for the wildflowers and for the pollinators to live and, and thrive. Government and business has its part to play in making the environment pollinator friendly. Things like creating nationwide corridors of wildflowers for bugs to travel along are a vital ingredient that offer real hope. Crucial though is the desire for change. The good news is that the ball is rolling.